Who are AAX? Well, AAX are a relatively new exchange founded in 2018 with the same matching engine used to power the London Stock Exchange. This then allows for ultra-low latency and uses trusting technology. AAX offers OTC, spot and futures trading. Who am I? My name is Oliver Page. I'm a cryptocurrency trader and I use the AAX platform and I've been asked by AAX to share some of my strategies for the AAX Academy. So a little bit about triangles. You get three main types of triangles. These are descending, symmetrical and ascending triangles. Why do traders use triangles? Traders use triangles because they help us to see the next big price movement direction. Therefore, this then allows us to set up a long or short position. Although when triangles are misused, they can be dangerous as they'll provide false signals. This is why we need to use triangles alongside other indicators. The first triangle which I'm going to be looking at are symmetrical triangles. Symmetrical triangles often show continuation patterns. When a symmetrical triangle is forming, it then shows a fight between the bulls and the bears, with the triangle often moving in the same direction as the previous trend, hence the continuation pattern. In this example, we can see that Bitcoin had a clear upwards trend from $3,800 US dollars all the way to $6,000 US dollars. At the start of the symmetrical triangle formation, there was a fight between the bulls and the bears multiple times before the Bitcoin price broke from the symmetrical triangle in an upwards fashion and continued the upwards trend all the way up to $10,000 US dollars. Descending triangles are a bearish formation. The price is being pushed down by the trend line and unless a breakout occurs, the price will continue to be pushed down. This will then eventually force the price below the support line, which will see the cryptocurrency lose significant value. In this example, sending from the 13th of February all the way to the 25th of February, we can see that Bitcoin is being pushed down by this downwards trend line as marked with these red arrows, are being supported with this clear support line, the bottom of the triangle, as seen with these green arrows. Although, once a break below this has occurred, Bitcoin then proceeded to lose significant value, falling from 9,500 all the way down to 8,500 US dollars in a matter of days. Ascending triangles. The last triangles which I'm going to be having a look at are ascending triangles, which are usually seen as a bullish signal. The move upwards has a supportive trend line, however, the price is struggling to move above the resistance line as the bears attempt to reverse the trend. A positive breakout usually occurs, leading to further gains in an ascending triangle scenario. In this instance, we can see that Bitcoin actually broke below the ascending triangle below the supportive trend line, which has been highlighted with the green arrows, indicating a move down and bear control. How to draw a triangle. The first thing you want to do is want to select the triangle tool. This is the fourth one down. Here you'll see a brush. You then want to click on the right hand side of this on a small little arrow. Select the triangle tool. Click on it. When drawing triangles, we want to draw from the wicks. So this is the wick which I'm going to start from. Click the bottom of it here, and I'm going to drag it across. Because this triangle is clearly an ascending triangle, I want to have a flat top. So I'm going to draw it along in a horizontal line, all the way back to this wick. Adjust it slightly. And there we have it. You can then adjust the colors to whatever you want. And there we have our triangle. Triangle strength. Now that we have drawn our triangle, it is important for us to test the strength of it. The strength of a triangle is measured through points of contact. The more points of contact 
inner triangle, the stronger it is. In the triangle we have just drawn, we see that the upwards support line is relatively strong with three points of contact, although the resistance is not as strong due to there only being two points of contact. This means that if a break towards the downside occurs, this is more likely to sustain itself than a break to the upside, which may be a false move. If we go down to April 2020, there was a symmetrical triangle formation. This was a very strong triangle, especially on the upside, with four points of contact. Once there was a significant break above this, due to the strength of the triangle, we knew that this was much more likely to sustain itself. We can clearly see that on the daily chart, there is an ascending triangle which has been forming. This ascending triangle has a bullish pole with a clear upwards movement from 3,500 all the way up to 10,300 US dollars before the formation of the triangle. Bitcoin also has momentum on its side with the SAR underneath the price action and the price within the upper regions of the Bollinger Bands. This associated with the ascending triangle points towards a bullish breakout. With the bullish factors mentioned earlier, alongside the ascending triangle, how can we capture Bitcoin's positive movement if there is a break above the triangle? We can see that there is a clear Fibonacci resistance level at the 0.618. Although once this is broken, there is very little to stop it from moving to the 0.76, except from a minor resistance at 10,400 US dollars. We want to capture this movement in this scenario from 10,400 US dollars all the way up to 11,700 US dollars. Although, how do we do that? So, we want to capture this move up. Although, how are we going to do this? We're going to do this with the AX spot BTC USD pair. We want to capture the move from 10,400 US dollars all the way to 11,700 US dollars. To do this, we're going to use the stop limit. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the price at which we want to buy Bitcoin. Put it into the second one down into the price. So I want to buy at 10,400 US dollars in this scenario. We then need to determine what price we want to sell at. In this scenario, we want to sell at 11,700 US dollars, which would give us around a 12% gain. After this, we want to determine how much we want to buy. As you can see here, I've got $57 available, although I want to only use 75% of that. So I'm going to click on the 75% button. So I want to buy just under 75%. So I'm going to buy 0.004 Bitcoin at $10,400, and I'm going to sell at $11,700 for a 12% gain. You then simply click by BTC. You will now see your order submitted in the open orders. So for the BTC US dollar pair, I'm buying Bitcoin at a price of 10,400 US dollars, selling at 11,700 US dollars for 0 0.004 Bitcoin with 41 US dollars worth. You can change when you buy and when you sell your Bitcoin as well. So personally, in this scenario, I might think that 10,400 US dollars is a little risky. So I can click on the right hand side of this and instead of 10,400, I can use 10,500 US dollars. And if I think that 11,700 US dollars is selling a little too high, I can change that to 11,650 US dollars.